It is Monday, July 31st. I quit the craft job today. I had to sign a form for the state people that were trying to get aid from. Uh, I haven't been told anything else quite yet about whether I need to try to find another job right away or not, but I mean, I'm going to because I, I can't afford to only get by on the MLC job. It's just, it's just not enough money. Um, but it's just, it's a hard thing to do because I really needed the paycheck, but it had, it was, it was clear to me that the job was, had the potential to be dangerous and the potential risk and injury that could lead to me not being able to work at all and that would have completely ended my ability to stay here and go to school. So it's something that had to be done and I'll just rely on the Lord to provide me with the means to make up for that. Either something will happen with the state or I will find a better job that will be less dangerous and make up for what I lost there. It's just been despondent today about it. Worried because I, I mean, I, I can make rent right now, but that's it. I, there's no paying bills or anything else like that. We can make rent. We've got food, so that that's a that's a blessing, and we'll have a place over our we'll have a roof over our heads. But everything else will be turned off if I can't find a, you know another way to make make the extra money up. Other than that, I mean, there's that's pretty much everything that happened today. I'm gonna try to sleep on it and think about it and I need to I need to apply for some some positions in some of the various companies around town tomorrow I think I'm gonna try to see if I can come up with some kind of a part-time IT position or something like that uh, I really didn't want to get into IT while I was doing this as I it, it can be stressful but I have put a lot of my life into it and does seem kind of silly to just let my degree sit and rot so that's kind of what I'm hoping for is I don't know something simple doesn't have to be fancy you know maybe cleaning up someone's documentation or reimaging computers or you know updating stuff something like that I don't know I don't know yet I'm Update for Wednesday, August 2nd, 2023. My mother and my aunt left earlier this morning, headed back to Michigan. They made it at least to the UP safely. They haven't said anything about getting anywhere else yet. So praise the Lord for that, and I pray that they get everywhere they're going safely tonight. Um, we've got more information about the MFIP program. Uh, we're definitely on it at this point. I'm not 100% certain what the breakdown is and what kind of aid and money and whatnot is going on. And even if I didn't know, I'm not going to say it in here because if you do qualify for it and you do get on it, it's probably going to be different for you or it might be the same. I don't know. It's it's really based on the individual family and your individual situation. Uh, I'm hoping that when we start getting stuff from it that it's it's still going to be enough so that I don't have to find a second job because I just, I don't see how I can do this and work two jobs. It's gonna be hard enough having to work one job, but working two jobs is gonna just be a, would, I, I just don't see that happening. Um, I received copies of Popular Commentary of the Bible by Paul E. Kritzman. These guys here from a uh, member of my uh, very beloved Zion family. Uh, there's four of these, two Old Testament, two New Testament. This work is available online for free. However, I would much prefer to sit and read it out of a book. 
and a comfortable chair rather than having to sit and stare at my computer screen while I'm trying to study this stuff. So thank you to them and praise the Lord for these hardcover copies of this. I hope that it comes in very handy throughout my uh, path through seminary. The five-year-old is, he's still having some behavioral issues. Behavioral issues. Uh, I think a lot of it today had to do with his grandma leaving because he, he really loves his grandmother and he, he'd prefer to just have her stay here with us <laughs> forever. But uh, I also think he may have been fighting with a migraine. Unfortunately, the poor child takes in my footsteps and has migraines. And I had a, a super nasty one last night, about halfway through my shift at work. It started coming on and I got home and tried to go to bed and I was up at midnight taking some pain pills and then I was back up at two o'clock throwing up in the toilet and took another pain pill and laid back down but I never really got to sleep so I've really been dragging today never really had a chance to nap today and I think he was also fighting with one and I think that's what kind of put him on edge today he did have a meltdown with my wife at the park today and was just ended up just venting to her about being tired and not being happy that his baby sister is around and you know the, the usual things that a five-year-old's gonna go through when he has a, a one-year-old baby sister when he used to have his mother all to himself and a brand new move to a new town and everything's scary and he's already anxious about you know only being here for a short period of time and then having to move again so I really try to talk to the kid about it and help him calm down and relax about it but I just I don't know it it bothers me there's just many times when I just sit and wonder what what have I done to my family what to what detrimental effect is this going to lead and I, I just I pray to God that it doesn't lead to a detrimental effect I just worry about him he's such a good kid and he's he just loves people and he loves to give and he's just such a happy child and then he just has these meltdowns and we could I, I, I just don't know we could certainly, certainly use a lot of prayer about it. I know that some point in time here soon he should be starting in a little homeschool group, which I think will do him a lot of good. Should get him around some more kids and help him hang out and play. Uh, as soon as Sunday school starts off at St. Paul's, he should be attending Sunday school, which will help him out a lot. Uh, and we have him signed up for vacation Bible school at... St. John's, uh, we'll see uh, how that goes, what goes on there. Um, uh, I'm, I'm tired, I'm sorry, I'm tired. I, I didn't sleep at all last night and I didn't get any rest in today. So yes, please, please prayer about Emmaus and helping us keep him calm and help him understand what is going on and get through this as a family and with the Lord God on our side and the love of our Father. I've been working on learning the Greek alphabet, uh, just being able to recite it the same way I did with the, uh, the Hebrew alphabet some months ago, just write it out on a piece of paper and then just, you know, look at it, read the first five repeat them till I got them and then add one or two and one or two and until I can recite the whole alphabet and then just continuously do it throughout the day uh, the Hebrew one and then eventually this is the Greek one here at least you know once a day each of them once a day will keep it fresh in your head but more times if you can you know find it sometimes I just as I'm walking around I'll just recite the Hebrew alphabet just so I know that it doesn't fall out of my head and out of my mind uh, it's gonna be tough when school starts, but I'm hoping that if I can at least know the alphabet and hopefully get before you know, the end of August, write these things out, be able to write it out, it'll put me at least a little bit ahead of where the, the, the study, you know, the book is the book is at. I, I just, it's going to be rough. Um, 
Trying to think of what else is going on here. I I don't know. I'm I'm blanking right now, but that's that's understandable with how tired I am. This is an update for Saturday, August fifth, twenty twenty three. We do have some time scheduled next Wednesday with the Minnesota career people so that we can come up with like a like an action plan for getting back on our feet. Because even though we're going to school and we're only gonna be here until twenty twenty five, in order to be on the MFIT program you gotta have like a career plan thing. So we'll see how that goes. Uh not much has happened since the last update on, I think it was Wednesday. Uh, we did get our EBT card. Uh, we tried to go to a volleyball tournament that was downtown today, and the five-year-old didn't want to go there because he couldn't play. He wanted to go to another park on the other side of town, to Herman Park. So we went there and discovered that there were tons of food trucks and bouncy castles, and he kind of went nuts about that and played in some pirate bouncy castle until he was frothing at the mouth. And then we got out of there, he had some water, and he went and played on the playground until he was getting just out of, a little out of hand and excited, and we had to take him home. Um, I'm not sure what this thing necessarily was. There was a bunch of 3M stuff all over the place, uh, but I don't think it was like an official 3M thing. According to the New Ulm calendar, it was just like a food cart, food bus kind of thing. Uh, Although they did have a cart there, a beer cart that was only giving beer away to like 3M employees you, that you couldn't buy anything from them. Um, yeah, not a lot of anything else has happened since Wednesday. This last half of this week's been pretty, pretty boring. So just going to cut it off there. Uh, may the Lord bless you and keep you and be with you always. And, uh, Please remember to like and subscribe and check the bell if you want to know if there's any more videos coming out and pass the channel along to anybody you think might want to watch it or might not want to watch it. Just get it out there. Good night.